Hey everyone, I had the unfortunate encounter of a particular debt company knocking at my door today. Uh, the bearing that I don't owe any debt to anybody. I've been receiving a number of letters from these people and I've been sending it back to them, telling them that it's not me. But today, some one of them decided to actually come and knock on my door. Um, anyway, I just want to give everybody a little bit of advice about this company. Um, they're not as... How do I say bad? Actually, they're all bloody bad uh, knocking on your door and they won't take the information that, that you are not that person. And um, anyway, the person who came to the door uh, wasn't as bad as uh, other debt collector, uh, collectors who actually think it's but they did do something which I, which is the reason that I'm making this video. They came across and gave the impression of the way they dress and the way they come across as though they're a person of high authority of uh, the police. It took me a few minutes to actually click on and then I realised what the hell am I doing and giving this information to this person why I even asked who the hell they are. And obviously with the, the training that they have, they know these uh, few minutes very well and they use this to their advantage to get details off of you, which under the Data Protection Act is, I'm pretty sure, illegal. Anyway, I just want to, let me tell you about this company. They call Resolve Call. Um, I've, I'm doing a screen uh, video of it there now. This is their site. This is the company. Um, you do not need to give any information to these people. If they come to your door, do what I did in the video, but make sure that they delete any kind of information that they may have recorded within that split moment because they have like a mobile phone on and some of them do have a gadget. They are not allowed to record at your property. They are on your private property. You are legally able to record every single thing that they do. They should not be recording you in any means because they have come to your private property. They're not allowed to record there. Um, I'm not sure what steps I'll take. I think I'm going to be a bit patient and see if they've took the advice that I gave the person at the door uh, and see what happens and I will keep you posted. I'm going to post the video um, straight after this, this introduction, uh, sorry for keeping it almost three minutes long. Um, but anyway, um, I am not going to remove or edit out their, this company's details or anything like that because they seem to have come to my property um, uh, without even a care of introducing themselves or anything like that. So this is the company, you can go to their site if any of you are having issues with them. Uh, I just want you to know that um, in the past, I have been in debt, which I've cleared and everything else, but a debt between a company, a bank, whatever, is a personal matter. It has nothing to do with the police. These people have no right coming at your door. They've got, they absolutely, there is no law that says they think uh, that a police can come and try and get you to pay money. This is a personal matter between you and a bank or you and a whatever debt uh, company it may be. The only debt that is deemed serious is, uh, something that's from the council or the government. These uh, uh, things are things that you must pay and you shouldn't interfere and lie or cheat or deceive or anything like that. You shouldn't do that anyway, to be honest with you. But anything to do with the government, anything to do with the council, you must pay it. Do you understand? Because obviously, you know, we're all, uh, well, I'm a taxpayer. Uh, we're all hopefully uh, payers of tax and those who aren't is there to help everybody else. We've got to work together. But personal debts between banks... Personal debts between finance companies, they have no right to come to your property. They are, there's no law to protect them whatsoever. Even TV licensing, I suggest there's some videos about TV licensing, go and watch them. You do not, you only pay for a TV license, obviously, if you um, are watching live TV, but get yourself some information on that. You don't really need a TV license, to be honest with you. Watch videos on them and see what to do. And everybody, if I were you, I would start getting video cameras up all over the place to record everything. Absolutely record everything because these criminals are absolutely everywhere. They're under the uniform of authority and they're taking your details and God knows what they're doing with it. There's even certain parts of the government that are selling our details now, like the DVLA. So protect yourselves, record everything and never ever give information to anybody at the door even if it's the police, you have the right to tell them, no, I feel unsafe giving my information here. Go to the police station. Do you understand? They have to let you do this. 
don't give your personal details to anybody at the door. Nobody. And if anybody, and if you accidentally do give your details to one of these lunatics, stand there at the door, tell them, delete that information. Now you took that uh, information illegally, and if need be, ring the police. Because deceptively, they took that information. Anyway, I apologize before for making the video three minutes long. It's now gone up to five and a half uh, minutes. Anyway, I'm going to edit and uh, connect that other video and do all that crap you amazing YouTubers do, which I am not a genius in. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Take care. Bye. My personal details and your debt company. Do you understand how serious that matter is? You've took somebody's personal details. You should have explained who you are. You're not a police officer. You are not a police officer. You're nothing else. You've come and asked for a person. Do you know the amount of people's details that are stolen every day? How do I, you can go and give my details to somebody else now? I do not give you the consent to give my details to any company that you've come from. If you pass my details that you've just took from me illegally, I will report you to the police. Do you understand this? Yes, can, I have your can I see your ID, please? Of course, can. There you go. Thank you very much. I know you're doing a job for somebody. Yeah. Don't ever do that again. You do know under the Data Protection Act, that is illegal this for you to do that. We, this is why we do the Data Protection Act. No, but you didn't give me information on who you were. You give me the impression that you're from somebody from the police. No, no. No, you did. Because you said oh, it's a personal matter. You're acting like a police officer. You're acting like it's, somebody who's from the authority. Don't ever... Our, this is a rented property. Yep. Yeah. Right? Do you understand? Don't yeah, come here again. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Right? You need to get in touch with somebody like that, you need to write to them. Do you understand? It's as simple as that. If they don't contact, there's other means to take somebody to court if you have to. You're living in a society where people are taking people's data left, right and centre. Do you know, I haven't even had that with my thingy. And by the way, I don't owe any money to anybody. I've had plenty of letters of you. I've sent these letters back to them. Okay. They keep sending it to me. I understand. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Right, okay. okay. Thank you. You know, you know, have a good day. I know you're working for somebody, but don't ever do that again. You need to introduce who you're working for. It's as simple as that. Because I'm going to think you're anybody. I'm going to think you're a person of authority. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Police is one thing. You're somebody, you're somebody who's actually, uh, if you're from a debt company, it doesn't matter. It's a personal matter between me and that company if I have a debt with them. Yeah. I don't have a debt with anybody. I've written them le back letters. I've sent these letters back. I've posted it. Look, they keep sending it me. Yeah, they keep sending me. I've got nothing to do with them. Yeah, I understand. All right? All right, no worries. Thank you.